Oh, right everybody, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to the 2020 NFL Draft video. On the clock, we've got, with the 11th pick, the New York Jets. No time to lose. I am working my way through the draft today and probably the next day and then we're going to edit the videos over the next couple of days and then I'll do the thumbnails, the description, the tags and then you'll see them uploaded to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying, I hope you guys enjoyed the draft. If you're watching it for the first time with me, thank you so much. If you're watching it for the second time with me, thank you so much and I think I used this line before but if you're watching it for the third time, you're fucking crazy. Anyways guys, let's get into it. With the 11th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Makai Becton, tackle Louisville. Ah, uh, I know so that name. So the run on receivers is going to have to wait, but Makai Becton, ladies and gentlemen, human beings <laughs> that <laughs> large indeed. should not run as fast as Makai Becton. No, did. they shouldn't. At the combine. 364 pounds. 364 really happy aren't they they're freaking embracing like i'm watching this and i'm thinking holy shit this this general manager seems like he's more happy and more relieved about this than the, the player you know what i mean and that i guess that goes back to the fact that these picks are so crucial they're so important months and months and months of work is going into this and i guess no pick is completely guaranteed until it's announced and so it would be such a relief that's interesting of weight video so he got him on the spot oh, also so also not only is the manager going to be happy but can you imagine how fucking happy Le'Veon Bell is going to be running behind this guy oh man that puts a smile on your face Hale has shown me he weighed 363 as of yesterday morning so he's been able to control his weight he's been working really hard even some of it in unconventional fashion as you see right here go get you a big truck and start driving it, and that's what he does against everybody you watched him on tape Bro. for Louisville this fall. This is a giant. Bro, if you are under, if you are under 300 pounds, you ain't moving this guy. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Man, this is Mount Beckton who's been brought in to protect Sam Darnold, and I can promise you, Le'Veon Bell is going to be a big fan as well. With the 12th pick of the 2020 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Henry Ruggs. I knew I wore this for a reason. Alabama. Oh, this is good. Henry Ruggs. Congratulations, Henry. I'm going to love seeing this well, guy there play. There you see Henry Ruggs. Daniel, you nailed the position, but not the player. Henry Ruggs is a fast. What did he get? 4 2 7. Big football player. And we knew, Trey, that this was a possibility because of that 4 2 7 speed. And let's remember now the Raiders. What do they have to do? They have this will be interesting, actually. I haven't. All I've seen is his. Combine, I haven't actually seen him play, so let's see how this 427 translates onto the field. The face, that, that thing they have in Kansas City with Tyreek Hill. Oh, yeah, so that's how it translates. To speed <laughs> for speed. They want to match explosion for explosion. When they score, they, when, when oh, Kansas City score, now. This guy, this, this guy gets a good release. It's done. The Raiders will be able to come right back. All he needs is a good throw. And score fast. This kid can run fast, but he also goes up high and grab that ball, just like you saw him dunk in the basketball. Mm. Henry Ruggs on this field, you're going to scare safeties out of there. You're going to have a lot more room for Josh Jacobs to run. And also add Darren Waller at tight end. He ran in the mid four fours. Now you've got Henry Ruggs who ran in the mid four twos. This Raider team got fast. Room. The fuck is he wearing? Quick. Can is that? Is he sponsored by Old Spice? Can we all just take a moment to acknowledge what we're seeing here? Michael Irvin, you of all people have to appreciate this. Henry Ruggs is swagging out in a row. Bro, how much did Old Spice pay him to wear that? He's just chilling in a row. Michael, that's what... <laughs> the San Francisco 49ers have traded the 13th pick to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 
with the 13th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Tristan Wirfs, tackle Iowa. Oh. This is the other guy. Okay, so these two, these are the two massive offensive linemen that I can remember, but I never remember their names. Bechti and Wirfs. So Wirfs is slightly smaller, but he's a lot faster. Tristan Wirfs, as an offensive tackle, could possibly be faster than his quarterback. Now we're seeing this run on offensive linemen, and as you oh, see, oh no, Tristan... that's right. No, no, no. The one picture in my head that I can remember was the vertical jump. Tristan Wirth's vertical jump after he ran the 40-yard dash was one of the most impressive things I have ever seen in my fucking life. Works there, getting the phone call right there, and a little bit of thumbs up. Another freakish athlete. He's six three, 322 pounds, with the 14th pick. In the 2020 NFL 49ers. The San Francisco 49ers select Javon Kinlaw, defensive tackle, South Carolina. Well, perhaps another surprise, Javon but Javon Kinlaw. Kinlaw is one hell of a football player. His story is also amazing. Yeah, he reminded me of Marcus Stroud when I watched him, Mel. And this is somebody, when you put on the Georgia game and the Alabama game, the best opponents they played, he was dominant against those quality offensive lines. So that's what jumped out to me. And, Lewis, I just add one thing here with this selection. This is this is outstanding by John Lynch. You trade to Forrest Buckner. You get the 13th pick. Big man. You trade back to 14, get an extra pick, and you replace the Forrest Buckner at the same position with a younger, cheaper player. What team did he uh, play John for? John Lynch putting that Stanford education to good use. Stanford. With the 15th pick, the 20th Stanford, Stanford. So that's the same school as McCaffrey. 20 NFL draft, the Denver Broncos select Jerry Judy, wide receiver, Alabama. Jerry Judy. Congratulations, Jerry. Come on, Broncos. And there you see Jerry Judy and family waiting to hear the official news, but it is he was impressive. Jerry Judy is a Denver Broncos. Actually, is he 6'4"? I, I love this pick, and I, I, I'm telling you, when you hear people talk about... No, 6'1". Well, that's because he transitions... 193, so that's pretty light. Well, in and out of cuts, this guy is incredible at the line of scrimmage. That's the number one thing, and he's going to... Show me some nice releases from a wide receiver, and you've got a fan in me. I have to work on is getting off that ball and being able to get deep. He ran a 4-4 at the combine, and Trey... He gets his work done in the slot. I already told you, 60% of the time, he was lined up in the slot. And he made Damn. seven touchdowns out of ten. Now, when you line up Gordon Sutton on the outside, and you put Jerry Judy in the slot, that is a disaster for any defense when you're trying to stop Drew Locke and the Denver Broncos. Great pick for the Denver nice, Broncos. Nice, great, great speed. Yeah, Mer Irv, I think it's fascinating when you look inside this division, everybody's chasing... Hang on, man. Is this guy another Ohio State? No, Alabama. My bad. In the Denver Broncos. Great pick for the Denver Broncos right there, Trey. Yeah, Mer Irv, I think it's oh, fascinating... Oh, the dead leg of the man. Look at that. There, Trey. Yeah, Mer Irv, Bang! I think it's fascinating when you look inside this division, everybody's chasing the Kansas City Chiefs. So are they going to load up on defense to try and slow down that Chiefs offense? It's like, the, forget that. We're not going to be able to slow them down. We better get some firepower. Oh, I so knew that was coming. Well, get their quarterback <laughs> in the future, Justin Herbert. The defender did a bloody good job. Get Henry Ruggs. Yeah. Game of interest. Now you have the Denver Broncos go get his teammate and Jerry Judy. The AFC West is loading up on offense. With the 16th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select A.J. Terrell, defensive back, Clemson. Well, there you see A.J. Terrell Falcons. and family, and it gets... Don't hear a lot about the Falcons. Quickly, ...ladies and gentlemen. And A.J. Terrell announced his presence with authority in the 2018 college football championship game with the 17th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Dallas. The Dallas Cowboys select T.D. Lamb. Wide receiver, Oklahoma. Well, Dak Prescott well, Roger, just got Roger looks happy, to he? Brutal, and C.D. Lamb is a weapon in every shape of the word. By the way, yes, he is. Uh, and this is a, a perfect, perfect pick 
for the Dallas Cowboys. I know they wanted to sure up the defense, but they know that I knew oh, and talking to them. Wow, wait, that was the first receiver they had on their board. And they talked about if he falls, they would have to snatch him up. Let me tell you what's great about this, because you know they got Amari Cooper and, and, and they got the young guy outside, Williams outside. But what that what this kid does, he can play in that slot position that was vacated by Randall Cobb. He played 70% outside last season, 30% in the slot. Imagine if the Giants got Jonathan Taylor and put Taylor and Barkley as a running back duo. I want to see that. But he had productions from both spots, seven touchdowns outside, seven TDs from that slot mill, so he can play in the slot, and when he has to, he can go outside and make plays also. With the 18th pick. Okay, so the Dolphins have a second NFL draft. pick. The Miami Dolphins select Austin Jackson. Tackle, USC. You know what just happened? Okay, so they've got a Roger quarterback. The pick. And a tackle. Said we got good news for Tua. You knew it had Makes to sense. be an offensive lineman. Well, I'll tell you what, they're getting a true left tackle with outstanding foot quickness and athleticism. And Trey, did a great, great job telling great the news. story about donating the bone marrow for his sister. But he did not have much of an offseason. I thought he struggled a little bit early on in the year, and then he got more comfortable as the year Although, progressed. Although, Tua is a left-hander. 20 years old. I don't know that he's able to step on the field right now and be an impact tackle, but Lewis, the upside with this kid is off the charts because of his ability to bend his knees and move. He's an outstanding athlete. Now, with the 19th pick in the 2020... Oh, at least got the top one. The Las Vegas Raiders select Damon Arnett, defensive back, Ohio State. All right, first of all, congratulations to Las Vegas getting the mulligan. We'll be there in a couple years as we will do the draft from there. But this is a fascinating decision here on a lot of levels by Damon Arnett. This was a kid that had basically decided his college career was over. And for me, Mel, he was my eighth corner. So I think people had that third corner in all different orders. You know, one thing I'll say about Arnett, while I was surprised that he went this high, he's very competitive, and that fits with what they've tried to do in building this team over the last couple of years. A very physical, very competitive kid who can really find and play the football, which you've got to have at that position, Lewis. Uh, look, his kid is, is tough, he's physical, and he can find the ball. I just thought it was a little bit earlier than I expected. 20th pick in the 2020 oh, NFL Jacksonville. Draft. So the Jaguars went number nine, and they got C.J. Henderson, a cornerback. What are they going to get at 20? The Jacksonville Jaguars select Kavon Chason. Linebacker, LSU. Well, there you see Caleb on Chase on and company getting set to... Nice lounger. ...know that they are moving down to Jacksonville. Yeah, very athletic up front now for the Jacksonville Jaguars, Lewis. And I also had this kid getting number 18 is a big deal at LSU, as you guys know, because of his leadership and because of his character. And when I talked to the coaches down there... Dougie. Said when he hurt his knee... When he was rehabbing, he did not miss a single meeting. He was plugged into that program. One of the best leaders they had on that unbelievable LSU squad. All right. There we go. Jesus, did you hear my neck? My God. Okay, three videos in. The first one was pick number one to five. The second was pick number six to ten. The third that you've just watched is pick number 11 to 20. And I believe the fourth video of the day with the 20 is picks number 21 to 32 and apparently the Packers drafted quarterback now racking my brain I did see something and I'm gonna I'm gonna say that the Packers drafted Jordan Love and it was a surprise to everybody but we're gonna get into that in the next video so guys if you are enjoying this series, if you enjoy my videos please hit the like button if you want to subscribe and you haven't yet please do there's so much content coming out on this channel. I have used this isolation period so well. I've created so many videos and I just hope you enjoy them. Because guys, that is what this YouTube channel is all about. It's about having fun and it's about being yourself. And that's what I hope all of my viewers and subscribers do as well. I hope they have fun in life and I hope they can be themselves and not care about what anyone else thinks. YouTube has helped me so much with that and I'll forever be grateful. But, you can't take things too seriously. And you know what, if you had asked me two years ago, what would you do if your YouTube channel 
got deleted tomorrow? Or what would you do if it got taken off you? Or what would you do if you had to start your social media over again? And I probably would have cried. Honestly, I probably would have cried. I probably would have thought, no, nah, it's impossible. I would have thought, oh, I'm losing everything. I had so much of my, my self-worth tied up into my, the success of my YouTube channel. But over the last two years, those opinions have thankfully changed. And, you know, if you were to take my YouTube channel off me tomorrow, if it was deleted for whatever reason, I wouldn't cry. I'd take out a piece of paper, a pen, and I'd start writing. I'd start writing a plan. A plan to create a new channel. Something different. And guys, look, I'm going to tell you once and for all, I would not be making these videos if I wasn't having fun. I would never be doing this. It is just, oh God, that, I can't think of anything worse than to be sitting down here trying to create videos, trying to entertain my subscribers and not actually be enjoying what I'm doing. It just wouldn't happen. It would not happen. And I, I think that that is what comes through on these videos, that genuine excitedness, that genuine attitude, that genuine love for sport. That's me. So guys, have a great night and I'll see you for pick number 21 of the 2020 NFL Draft. Peace out.